या निशांत गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर विजेंद्र फ्रॉम यूरोपीडिया गुड इवनिंग सर तो निशांत आर वी रेडी फॉर द मॉक इंटरव्यू यस सर ओके सो निशांत वी आर गोइंग फॉर द मॉक इंटरव्यू ऑफ नीटी बॉम्बे यस सर ओके निशांत आई वांट यू टू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ टू ऑल ऑफ अस सर आई एम निशांत कुमार आई बिलोंग टू गया डिस्ट्रिक्ट फ्रॉम बिहार सर आई लिव इन अ न्यूक्लियर फैमिली व्हिच इंक्लूड्स माय मी माय पेरेंट्स एंड माय एल्डर ब्रदर so my father runs a general store so i have completed my education up to class 12 from my native town gaya and sir currently i am pursuing the civil engineering from jadavpur university kolkata and sir i love swimming and i like to play and i like cricket and that's my hobby sir okay what is your hobby what do you do sir nishan sir i like to play and i like cricket you and like also like cricket huh? yes sir okay that is your hobby yes sir okay so what are you doing nowadays in this all lockdown period how are you pursuing your hobby yes, during this time now sir i am sir i just don't uh, swim but i play cricket at the evening okay you play cricket in the evening where yes sir yes sir okay where do you play cricket in the evening sir just there is a park in front of our hostel sir i believe in hostel okay so we can play there Okay, and where do you swim? You have written your uh, extracurricular means swimming also. Yes, sir. Sir, I swim. So I have joined ILS Society, which is in Dhakuria Lake here in Kolkata. Okay. Which they give training for six months, but I have joined. Sir, I have become the member of that society, so I can swim. I have joined for three years, and I swim regularly there. Acha, Nishant, you have not mentioned anything in your summer internship detail. Sir, I have not done the summer internship. Acha, summer internship is not part of uh, your curriculum, ah? Huh? Yes, no, sir. Sir, our college has taken me to back as a thermal plant and yes, academic tour for seven days. Okay. Okay, Nisham, can you tell me uh, why you want to join NITI Bombay? Sir, because NITI is one of the most prestigious institute of our country, and sir, to become an alumni of NITI itself an honor for me, and sir, the basic. the most important thing is sir that i belong to a lower middle class family and sir the placement is the biggest concern for me and sir niti is excellent in terms of placement and sir i want a place where i can learn to exercise my exercise the combination of my managerial as well as engineering skill okay so what do you mean by these things managerial and engineering skill sir engineering skills means that how to use any materials or good to make anything simple and so managerial skills means how to manage the use of that things okay so do you consider yourself good in managerial skills as of now sir i am sir i have been managing something at my college level that so i was mess committee in my hostel so okay. i have managed the mess for two or three months Okay uh, how many courses did you apply in NITI Bombay Sir I have applied for two courses PGDPE and PGDPM PGDPM ha huh? Yes sir Okay acha Nishant can you tell me about your BTech project what you are doing with what project you have done Sir I our final year project was to design an urban embankment Okay what you have done in that Sir actually sir we have to design an urban embankment so sir there is a various there is a process involved in that design sir first of all if we have to design suppose we have to design a 20 meter height embankment to just give a passage to a highway okay so sir we we cannot construct a 20 meter height suddenly on uh, suddenly because sir the soil below the embankment will not take at Take that load suddenly. So, sir, we have to co- construct that embankment in a stage. So that, sir, first of all, suppose we develop the eight feet of height of embankment, then we first have to check that the soil is safe or not. Then again, we have to construct some Y height of embankment, and then we should pro- proceed in this way. And so, after the checking the bearing capacity of the soil, if it becomes safe, then. we should go ahead for consolidation settlement sir and the settlement we should find it from irc code 75 2015 that is given in the code itself how to find the settlement and after sir at the consolidation of the soil due to the load 
of the mango and then sir charge on it sir and the time of consolidation comes to be very high like it comes to be 10 years or 15 years but sir we cannot wait for that too long for the settlement of the soil so sir we just try to increase the rate of the consolidation so to increase the rate of the consolidation we use various methods like sir we can apply sand wick we and we can apply prefabricated drains so sir these are the method to which we can decrease the time of the consolidation and after that sir we check that in mangrove for the stability okay nisham i think um, uh, 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 honey sir uh, who is technical mentor for civil he has some question for you from your uh, project yes sir, yes, sir. Nishant, how did you check the stability of the embankment? Sir, uh, sir, we check the stability of the basement by determining the factor of safety, sir. If the factor, sir, according to our project, if the factor of safety, according, to, sir, if we apply the total stress analysis method. Okay. Sir, for sir, uh, we have applied the Swedish circle method, sir. Okay. For the total stress analysis, sir, and if the factor of safety comes out to be more than one point five, then our embankment is safe. Okay. So, can you tell me how can we uh, uh, check the stability of so by other methods? Yes, sir. We like can also check the stability of slips by effective stress method. So in effective stress method, sir, we have to just calculate the shear strength of the soil of the embankment and the shear stress that is get getting applied due to the seepage force or the surcharge, and just come and just find out the shear force. And sir, we have to find the factor of safety, sir. In the total stress analysis, we do not, we cannot find out the so poor water pressure. But in effective stress, we can able to find out the poor water pressure. That is the basic difference between both. Can you define Taylor stability number? Yes, sir. Taylor stability number is sir. Sir, is, sir I can sir. It is the ratio of cohesion value upon gamma H C. Sir, I cannot define the sir. I learn the formula. What is the maximum value of Taylor stability number that is theoretically possible. Sir, theoretically it can be. Sir, theoretically it can be. I think one, sir, but it cannot be greater than point five. Okay, and what do you mean by you have used some consolidation? What is the difference yes, between sir. consolidation and compaction? Sir, consolidation is basically the expulsion of water. And during the whole consolidation process, sir, the soil is soil remains fully saturated. But sir, during and sir, consolidation is a slow process. But sir, com during compaction, it happens due to compaction of air, and sir, it is a fast process. And sir, the soil doesn't remain saturated during the compaction. And what are the types of consolidation? Sir, primary consolidation and secondary consolidation. So, primary consolidation is just due to ex expulsion of water, and secondary consolidation is due to the plastic readjustment of the solids. Factors affecting primary consolidation. Sir, factors affecting primary consolidation. Sir, factors affecting primary consolidation. Factors affecting. So I said I can't remember right now. Okay, Nishan, uh, uh, you applied for NITI for these two courses, I E and yes, PM. Sir. What do you understand by PM? Yes, sir. sir, project management is basically the sir application of your skill, knowledge, technical, technique, and tool for the project different project activity that are required in the project. How do you define project, sir? Uh, according to me, sir, project is a series of the various activity or the operation or the task uh, that is that must be completed to achieve and require outcome. Okay, and do you know what are the various phases uh, of the project? Yes, sir. So the various phases of the project are initiation, planning, scheduling, sir, execution, con sir, controlling, monitoring, educate execution. Controlling and monitoring and closing. Which is the most difficult phase? 
so the most difficult phase according to me is the execution why sir because sir execution depend upon the various uh, demographical physical factors upon which are uh, giving to sir willing to make the project sir we can plan it we can schedule it we can monitor it but and we can also play but main thing there is most there is lot of sir man power there is lot of resources that is required to execute the project okay uh, acha what is the difference between planning and scheduling sir planning is all about sir that planning is sir that planning is actually the scope of the project sir but scheduling is that when when the different activities of the project should be ended up when should be by what time we should complete that activity this is scheduling sir okay as a use of network diagrams like per cpm bar chart gantt chart this yes. comes in planning or scheduling sir this is generally in scheduling sir okay this does not come in planning phase huh? sir actually the charts we generally used to control this can also be used in controlling and monitoring sir okay okay and what do you understand by uh, uh, operation sir operation is a series of the activities uh, generally it is a series of activities that occurs in a single phase or single process okay this is a, 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 a can you repeat again what did you say sir operation sir operation is a series of the different task or different function that is done in a single process or single phase okay uh, have you heard about operation research and operation management yes sir what is the difference sir operation resource sir operation resource is basically a analytical method of problem solving or decision making mm-hmm. that helps in the management of the project Okay. Whereas, sir, operation management is the area of management that deals with the de- sir designing and controlling of the process of the operation. Okay. Okay. These are two different things. Okay. In Niti Bombay, what uh, you want after uh, pursuing from Niti Bombay your course? Sir, I want to be in a corporate sector, and sir, I want sir, I want to be in that place where I can plan plan mm, the. sir i can plan sir i want to be in planning department of that company planning department what is that department yes. planning department so suppose we are going to make the project or anything we are going to initiate mm mm-hmm. so so what is the scope of this project how for how much long it will be done for how much benefit it will give us what are the different difficulty that we are going to face while giving this project okay acha can you tell me what is how niti is going to get uh, uh, benefited by your joining niti bombay so so actually so because i am just a fresher candidate and i have uh, so i have all idea in my mind which are really fresh so and so i will i can give it 100% of myself in every activities that are going to be conducted in niti in that manner sir i can contribute myself to the niti okay so uh, nishant we give you your feedback now of your mock interview uh, see uh, your uh, overall uh, uh, performance is good i'll say this is good performance you could answer more or less uh, the questions uh yes, introduction was good and why to join niti uh, you just work on this question further little more uh yes, like uh, this is a reputed institute sir and this is a great opportunity for me if i join there and this is the uh, institute which uh, uh, basically uh, uh, try to provide them uh, some kind of skills which otherwise uh, technocrats will not acquire other institutes like presently my college is very good jadapur university where i am acquiring technical skills lot of technical things and my knowledge i am con- i consider myself uh, above average in these things but yes there are certain skills which i lack those are the uh, skills like uh, working in a team working under some time man- uh, schedule uh, time management things and uh, managerial things so that i think uh, niti will provide me and uh, uh, once i am graduate from niti i'll get a great brand and uh, 
I'll be alumni of Niti, which is a matter of great proud for me. So this way you can say why to join Niti Bombay, right? Yes. Sir. Then uh, uh, I asked you about project management, planning, and scheduling. So you were not very clear about planning and scheduling is small part of planning. You know, planning is a very broad term. Planning includes everything. I mean, resource planning, objective de definition. Uh, what is the objective of entire thing that also comes in planning? Resource identification and activities uh, identification. uh scheduling scheduling is more or less a time table actually hmm? so that is how yes, we do it yes, so project yes. you can say is a group of activities that the definition was more or less okay phases also you could answer properly but then when i asked you this network diagrams where do you use it planning or scheduling you yes. said that sir that is used in scheduling but let me tell you that is used in planning also so that was a wrong answer yes. from your side yes. and operation uh, and all these answers you could give that was okay from my side uh let's see what uh, hanifa says about uh, your btech project nishad you need to uh, work on your btech project and the terms related to your project like uh, uh, stability of slopes compaction consolidation okay yes sir yes. So, uh, so you need to read it uh, deeply so that you can answer well and uh, i have asked you questions regarding maximum value of taylor stability number theoretically that is 0.261 you yes, answered it incorrect okay yes sir. and after that i uh, later on i asked you question that what are the factors that affecting consolidation primary consolidation yes, so you were unable to uh, answer that question so one thing yes. you should uh, you need to require that ki aapko ye acche se padhna hai jitna bhi aapka is se related hai topics hai clear yes sir yes sir so nishant you prepare yes. well on this you are already very good but you need to really go to next level right so uh, just yes, improve on these things which i told you and uh, i yes, am sure you will get into niti mumbai if you prepare on all this keep watching other uh, mock interviews which we are putting keep watching those also yes. and keep preparing on those lines fine and yes. prepare well for your uh, forms and your bio data which you have submitted so btech project yes. do really good and uh, some knowledge of civil engineering and all this project management what is ie and all these things you remember very nicely yeah okay sir okay nishant thank you thank you sir thank you sir